sunglasses boof. How do you add sunglasses? Oh, just SG? Okay, there you go. Urza's Black didn't want anymore. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it happens. You, you run the risk of getting eaten by zombies. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Snow Zombies. Demir, or Golgari, or Mono Black, whatever your flavor of zombies, we got them all here tonight. I did a similar Golgari zombie deck previously, and I really liked the mechanics of it. I really liked how it worked. Um, and I said, well, why don't I import some snow stuff into it? Uh, why don't we get Narfi in on the action? He's a pretty cool guy, right? Everyone likes Narfi, the Betrayer King. Um, so we're going to look at this. This is called Soul Tie Snow, and I call it Snow Remorse. Um, and uh, because I like puns and stuff like that. Um, and we got apparently any Narfi stuff and some other cool stuff in here. And Jorn, which will get really going here. So, uh, before we get started, um, of course, as always, I'll ask you to do something for me, which is tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Or else, well, guys, the like and subscribe is going to come get you. And, and he's just going to werewolf claw you. Only about 25 days left until the new set where werewolves will be at their zenith, their peak. You got to watch out. Uh, you can join us on our stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for all the live streaming goodness. We got brand new emotes there, man. If you haven't been back or you always wanted to try it out, new emotes, new stuff, new rewards, all kind of fun stuff going on. You can check out our Discord community, post your decks, put comments, talk to me, whatever you'd like. And of course, this deck and all the others can be found on my Aether Hub down in the description below. Go check it out. So, um... If you're running black, you should be rumbling, zambling, uh, shambling gassed. But if you're running zombies, it's even better. Um, shambling gas dies, choose one. Brave the stench, negative one, one for instant removal on something that's only one toughness. Or you could search the body to create a treasure token, which is a little bit of black ramp. Love it. Great sacrifice fodder, great early card. Warlock class. I love this card, guys. I want to do more with it. Um, I want I want to do more with Warlock. I want more Warlock in my life. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature died this turn, each opponent loses one life. When this becomes two, level two, you only have to pay two for it. Look at the top card of your library. Put one of them in your hand and the rest in your graveyard. Don't worry about putting them in your graveyard. There are cards we actually want in our graveyard, namely King Narfi. So if we have the chance to put him in the graveyard, we do want to do that. Blizzard Brawl, probably one of the strongest green cards out there. We are running heavy amounts of snow, and we want to combine this with white. We want our zombies to eat. We want them to feed, guys. That is the goal, is to have the zombies just tear into the soft, warm flesh of the living. Deadly Dispute, uh, another great ramp card. Uh, you have to sacrifice a creature. You draw two cards and create a treasure token. Um, useful. Uh, very much so, especially with Shambling Ghast on turn two, you can get four mana out on the board uh, immediately, and then turn three, put down a mana, and have five right away with Deadly Dispute. Very, very good. A little bit of card draw never hurt anyone. Everyone forgets Ghastly Gloomer, Gloom Hunter, um, Und Flabbergast for all my German friends out there. Flabbergast? Uh, or is it Flutermeis? Flutermaus? I don't know. Um, hello to all my German fans. Uh, flying lifelink one one two drop not bad you can kick it with two additional counters he is a zombie bat so i kind of like that that he's going to get boosted up with everything else we're doing white uh i love this card man this is a cool card uh enters the battlefield tap not no big no big problems there <coughs> 2-3, but he has life drain. Whenever a creature dies, dealt damage by white, this turn dies. Uh, create a 2-2 two -two tab zombie token, then exile that card. So he will exile cards from the graveyard because they basically take that body and turn it into a zombo. Very, very fun. And what you do is you combine white with Blizzard Brawl, 
so he fights people and kills them immediately. If you have four snow permanents, three snow permanents, it gets plus one and indestructible. So he can kill a 4-4. Four, four. He can bring down a gold span dragon with Blizzard Brawl and three snow on the board and immediately turn that snow, uh, that dragon into a zombie. Uh, additionally, Devouring Tendrils, another one. Um, target creature you control deals damage equal to power uh, or Planeswalker you don't control when that permanent doesn't die. When the permanent you don't uh, when the permanent you don't control dies this turn, you gain two life. So if that eventually dies, it, you'll gain that life. Uh, white, of course, does the damage. Anybody damaged by white turns into a zombie. You have lots of zombification options here, guys. You find a cursed idol, a little bit of green ramp, a utility card that I really think I can recommend to a lot of people. Smash it, destroy target artifact, lift the cursed... Uh, destroy target enchantment and steal its eyes create a treasure token and venture into the dungeon very very useful utility all around right there um, infuse with vitality until the end of turn when this cre target creature gains death touch when it dies it returns to the battlefield and you gain uh two life uh, very very useful you can surprise this in on anybody and they return i love to surprise it in on white or even shambling gas they're not expecting it to return because you can create the uh, treasure token shambling gas comes back in and kills anybody that they tried to uh for for blocking if they attack with a big monster well i'm just gonna kill shambling gas boom shambling gas killed you and he's back or she's back um, I guess it's really not really a big deal if it's a zombie. Um, and you gain two life on top of that, so it gives you a little treat on top of there, too. Very powerful card out of Strixhaven. Uh, Jorn, God of Winter. This is one that uh, is not our Zombos here, but uh, is very useful nevertheless. He is a legendary snow creature. He's a god, so he counts as a snow permanent. Whenever he attacks, untap snow permanent you control. That will be all your snow lands and some of your snow creatures, which I'm going to show you what snow creatures we have. Or a uh, legendary snow artifact. We can play snow permanent cards from our graveyard this turn. If we do, they enter the battlefield tap. So depending on whether or not we want to untap our snow stuff and attack, or we want Caldring the Rhyme Staff, and that is a legendary snow artifact, and play our snow stuff from the graveyard, which is another good option. Okay, so now, of course, if you're running, um, if you're running s zombies, you gotta think about, uh, you gotta think about resurrection. Each player mills four cards. Uh, then you exile a creature or planeswalker from each graveyard until the end of your turn. You may cast spells from among exiled cards with King Narfi's Betrayal, and they may spend mana as though they're mana of any color. So um, you can mill four cards and then choose the opponent's graveyard or grave your graveyard and cast the spells from it. Uh, for two turns, you have an option to cast any spells from it. We also want to try to load the graveyard with Narfi, too, because he's cheaper from the graveyard. That's where we want to play him from. We throw one of them in here just for a little extra spice. Um, I've done it so that I've been able to kill or mill something big of theirs and then play it later on with any uh, mana that I want and steal one of their really good creatures. Um, also, that artwork is beautiful. Look at that stuff. Then, of course, we have the Death Priest of Mikril. Um, tiefling cleric skeletons vampires and zombies get plus one plus one naturally at the beginning of your end step if a creature died this turn you may pay one if you do create a one one black skeleton creature again if you have white attacking if you have white doing battle uh, and you have that extra mana he's gonna make a zombie for eating them and then she's gonna make a skeleton so he'll bring the flesh back she'll bring the bones back Everybody's happy. Everybody's powered up. And then we go on eating more and more people with zombies. Draugr Necromancer. This is a snow permanent. So, again, using the Rhyme Staff, you can cast him from the graveyard if you want to. Um, he will also untap as soon as Jorn attacks, too. So he will gain the benefits of this card, too, uh, Draugr Necromancer. Then a 4-4 four, four Zombie Cleric. If a non-token creature, an opponent you controls would die, exile that card with an Ice Counter in instead. You may cast spells from among uh, cards in exile. Your opponent controls with Ice Counters on them. And when you may spend mana from Snow Sources as if there weren't mana of any color to cast. Again, stealing and resing creatures as zombies for our nefarious purposes zombie he will get boosted up by everybody 
Binding of the Old Gods, solid card, helps you mana fix, uh, immediately destroy something. Lovely wood carving there. Find that forest card that you need. But there's going to be another trick with this one. I'm going to show you in a minute for finding that forest card. And of course, create your Creatures gain Death Touch. A whole phalanx of hungry zombies going in with Death Touch will absolutely cause somebody to scoop. They can't handle it. Um, the big maybe on this guy, we have a Molder and Croc here. I like that he's a Trampler. Uh, I like he's a 3-3 Lifelink Trampler. He's a little expensive, which he was a little cheaper. Wish he had a little bit more. But hey, he's kind of a big beefy boy, and I kind of like him. Um, if you don't want him, if you want to sub him out for something else, but... Eh, yeah, I kind of like him in here. And then, of course, the pièces de Resistance. None other than King Narfi, the Betrayer himself, a zombie wizard. Uh, other snow and zombie creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So, don't forget, Jorn is a snow creature. So, not only will he boost uh, Jorn, he will boost all the zombies. So, Jorn will get that plus one, plus one, too. Um, he is also a snow creature, and you can play him from the graveyard for only three snow mana. That's why we kind of want him in the graveyard. We want to discard him. We want to mill him off the top of our thing, and he can return anytime you want. You can play that uh, snow source anytime you want. Um, so very, very useful stuff here with Narfi. Really wanted to include him, but also wanted to include the fighting white uh, abilities of the green so that's why we ended up with sultai snow so three snow covered islands five snow covered swamps three snow covered forests one clear water pathway two dark boars and two bark channels now i'm going to show you something else here guys we have two ice tunnels two woodland chasms and one rhymewood falls because rhymewood is not the most useful one but don't forget these snowlands they come in tapped okay they do come in tapped you got me there so they are a little slower but they are forest islands uh, and swamp forests. Okay, what does that mean? That means that they technically count. Woodland Chasm and Rhymewood Falls count for none other than Binding of the Old Gods. They are technically a forest card. So even, even if you need a black card or you need blue, let's say you don't have any blue, if you play Binding, you can grab uh, Ice Tunnel and that is... Uh, I'm not sorry, you can't add, grab ice tunnel. You can grab Rhymewood, and Rhymewood is a forest island, so that counts as a forest. It will come in tapped. You'll have it ready next turn with your blue mana ready to go. So you can cheat in these two cards with forest abilities because they are technically listed as forest. They are both at the same time. Okay, long explanation, complicated mana, ba uh, mana base. That's okay. Um... 2.4 average, solidly in mid-range, not too much blue, little heavy on the green, lots of black, 21 creatures, uh, grand total of 17 zombies, the rest are gods and other stuff, um, gods and tieflings, for instance, 9 sorceries, 5 enchantments, 21 lands total, um, you're not going to need that many lands, you're going to have some treasure to work with, so don't worry too much about that, we have our lovely raven backs on them, we can look in our alternate view layout here, um, Pretty smooth. Early plays, mid plays, uh, early plays here. We can really get it going. Three is really all we need to start rocking their world. Four, and we're absolutely ripping it up. I don't ever want to kind of cast Narfi Betrayer King as a five. I want to always kind of cast him as a three. So he kind of goes in this category with snow. Um, but once you get this going, once you get the phalanx of zombies up and you start attacking, everybody's boosted, everybody's ripping, everybody's death touching, you will absolutely eat them up. So we're going to get into it with Snow Remorse. I've been really looking forward to this deck, having a lot of fun with it. Let's get going. All right, guys, let's get into it. Um, and we do have the, okay, you guys are going to keep distracting me. <laughs> Honestly, I can't handle it. The sunglasses boof is too, because it kind of goes over the O's. Like it kind of lines up where the O's have the sunglasses on. <laughs> so it looks like a little character. It looks like the, it looks like the seven up spot. That's what it kind of reminds me of. You guys remember the seven up spot? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 seriously, I can't even, I can't even, man, the Boof, the Boof logo is, is here, man, and people were asking for it, well, if you're sub now, you get the Boof logo, 
Uh, all right, let's get that out. That's the tap land. Uh, Stig, I know I should have man lands in this, but the mana base is so freaking crazy right now um, that I don't even think it's worth it. Uh, let's get a King Nerfie's Betrayal. We really don't need that. <clears throat> let's do this. Let's do this. Um, seven up spot, man. Um, let's see here. Elite Spellbinder. Who's he going to put in there? Probably Draugr Necromancer. Probably Draugr Necromancer. I would imagine. No, he put Deadly Dispute in there. Okay. Okay. Um, that's kind of surprising. But, sure. Alright, man. Yeah. Uh, whatever you'd like. Palacios. Palacios, man. We got new stuff for you tonight, man. Who else is here? The Gummy Bear was here briefly. Oh, yeah, there he is. Roxas Zypher is here. This freaking Valkyrie is here. Where are my kill cards, man? Where are my kill cards? I got a million kill cards in this deck, and I don't see a one right now. <clears throat> He's going to swing in. Three. Um, let's do this. Yeah. Now you're just using it as punctuation, man. Now you're all just using the boof emote as punctuation. Uh That's that's too much, man. Y'all doing too much. Where are my kill cards? I have um Binding of the Old Gods. I have four Blizzard Brawls. And I have two Devouring Tendrils, which is ridiculous that I can't find anything here. Um, I guess I need more Devouring Tendrils, clearly. It's not enough. Blood Chief's Thirst. Let's do that. Okay. You find a Cursed Idol. Alright, so let's do... Um, Treasure token and into the into the gungeon here. A scry. All right. Infuse with vitality. Yeah, we'll take that. I have so much removal in this deck, but it does not want to pop. Uh, next, douche, and we play that guy. Um, it does not want to pop, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Vanishing Verse, naturally. Of course, an Exile card pops right away for him. I don't get any of my removal. King Narfi, he just made cheaper for me, so that's good. Um, he just basically reduced the price. Um, and I cannot get any of my removal, which is bad. Um, I'm going to do next. No attacks. And turn. Um, literally cannot draw a single removal card. Eight removal cards in the deck. Eight removal cards in the deck, and I have not drawn one in 15 cards. Um, so I don't know where that leaves us, really. You get <laughs> okay, he hit me with the oof boof. Okay, that sent me off. That sent me off again. Okay, the oof boof was <laughs> the sunglasses oof boof is too much, my guy. It's no, I can't. I can't even. I can't even with the sunglasses oof boof, man. Uh, let's do that. Boof, 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 boof. 
There you go. He comes back. He creates a zombie. Everybody untaps. Devouring tendrils. Finally. Oh, my lord. Finally we get it. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take that. Okay. Um, then, of course, we'll send the this guy in. God, people just don't want to be eaten by zombies anymore. It's a, it's a real shame that nowadays people just don't want to be eaten by a zombie. And, uh, you know, I think it speaks to this generation's lack of work ethic that they just don't, they're like, please, I don't want to be eaten by a zombie. And I'm like, well, you should have thought about that before, you know, you played a game where that could possibly happen. Uh, let's do that. Let's do a white. Um, so, let us go in with King Narfi. Urza's is block. Um, yeah, block a bunch of them. That's what you do. Block a bunch of them. I'm going to get them back for three mana anyways. It doesn't matter. There you go. That was a good move. All right. There you go. Swing in with that big boy there. There you go. That's what you want to do. <clears throat> there you go. All right. So there is King Narfi. There is uh, Jorn, God of Winter. And there is me attacking with zombies. There you go. Usually a streamer. Sunglasses boof. How do you add sunglasses? Oh, just SG? Okay, there you go. Urza's Black didn't want anymore. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it happens. You, you run the risk of getting eaten by zombies. It does. It does. You, you, you do run that risk. Um, and they're just going to... Um, um, tell you a funny story about zombies i was at a uh um where was i it was at a holiday bingo night um <laughs> with my friends uh that they put on at like the community park uh that we used to actually play cards at a lot and um oh perfect hand um And, uh, they used to, it was like really, really, uh, it was really, really, hey, I'm fast on draft. I don't want to hear that this, the streamers are holding up drafts, man. That's, that's a, that's an outright lie. Um, bird council privileges. It's a bird council thing. You wouldn't understand. Um, <laughs> and so they used to give out like treats and snacks and shit and, and people would come and. Um, people would drink even though they weren't supposed to, and, uh, oh, hopefully he puts a Narfi in there. Yeah, let's hope he puts a Narfi. That would be great. Stormblood! Okay, so let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, we can tendril him and make the Zombos. Um, and the funniest thing I ever saw is this dude came out with um, uh, a giant trash bag full of popcorn that they had just freshly popped and they're like all right so we're gonna give out this popcorn and people like mobbed him there he goes he put a king narfi in there perfect um, and pulled this pork dude down and a lot of it was his friends that knew him it was like people that knew him um, pulled this dude down uh, and started like eating the popcorn 
And it was so much like The Walking Dead because they literally like tackled this dude and ripped into the popcorn bag and just started shoving handfuls of popcorn into their mouth. And it was just the funniest thing that I had ever seen, man. It was just, um, <laughs> it cracked me up, man. Uh, it was the, the way they went after him is it was just zombies man it was it was no ifs and or buts about it man it was zombies it just was um he was screaming he's like no no and they were just shoveling these big handfuls of popcorn into their mouth <laughs> ripping the bag apart <laughs> so, man, it, was, it was hilarious man it was you had to be there i guess i i don't know but it was probably one of the funniest things i've ever seen um okay so he wants to ruin crab me he's th is this whole this whole thing is just ruin crabbing i guess um hey Raid Shadow Legends is a fine game, sir. For an idle game. I haven't had time to play it. I actually fell out. I was enjoying it for a while. I might get another sponsorship from them real here soon. Here soon. So, um, uh, okay, so he's put down one rune crab here. There we go. Last pull mimic. He's going to have two rune crabs. Perfect. Um, you always wonder why people uh, play raid, sponsor Raid Shadow Legends, and then you realize how little money you get from Twitch and YouTube, and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that, yeah, okay. There we go. Godot is out of there. <clears throat> um,. It's not, I mean, as far as idle games go, listen, don't go into it expecting Diablo. This is what I said about Raid. I got, I, I really don't have anything to bad anything to say about Raid. As long as you manage your expectations. It's an idle game. It's just something to do to, 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 uh, to, to putter around with while you're waiting at the dentist. You know what I mean? Um, it's not Mass Effect. Uh, and it's not trying to be Mass Effect. Um, you know, so. The character design, very good. Um, so that was, that was another win for you there, guys. That was two in a row, um, of snow remorse. People are, people are. Have you gotten, have you had the joy of getting Tasha'd yet? Uh, Stig or McBash? Um, have any of the guys who've been away, have they been, uh, has anybody been, uh, Tasha'd yet? Um... I've been toshed a few times. Okay, so this is what we call a bad hand. This is this is one mana. That's not that's not gonna do it. This is also what we call a bad hand, but I'm gonna have to go with this one. No, there's no black in this, so I gotta do something different. Listen, man, um, I am trying to get, uh, I'm trying to get, uh, Blaine Ingram. It's always weird when somebody has just, like, a regular name. Uh, I'm trying to get more sponsors, man. Supposedly a hardware sponsor is coming in. Um, I had another weird Russian mobile game ask me, and I said no, because it was weird, and I didn't, I didn't trust it. Uh... Not less of a sponsorship and more of a team up with uh, your play mat for any kind of customs. We are going to be releasing. We're working on them right now in the back, okay? The like and subscribe branded stuff for the release of Blood Moon, okay? So keep an eye out on that. Um, and uh, maybe some vampire stuff. Maybe some vampire stuff for, for Christmas, November, holiday time. Maybe. We'll see. Um, so.
So yeah, I don't own I don't own the rights to that picture of like and subscribe, so I can't use it for profit. Um, if I get I've I've had a few prototype like and subscribe um, watch Uh um, <clears throat> drawings done. Um, but I, I haven't, I haven't settled on any one of them yet. So we're going to see guys. It's, it's going to be good though. It's going to be good. Oh, he's actually here. Or is he AFK? Cause he was AFK for a while there. And maybe for, for Crimson Vow, we might do some more, uh, vampire merch. I don't have the rights to the veto picture. Um, but I can commission somebody else to do a fan art of what we won't call Vito, what we call uh, um, generic vampire cleric. Um, suspicious Ninja coming in for the two-month sub. Um, good evening, villains. Hello. Okay, I think this guy might be AFK. Um, so whatever you guys want, I'll make it. I don't care. Oh, yeah, I hate that, man. I rarely, rarely... The only thing I ask... The only thing I ask is you hit the like button. That's all I want. And that's three in a row, guys. That guy just got scared off by the zombie's presence. Uh, yes, I have been. I'm on my grind right now, Zyme. Uh, channel's been taking a dip down. People are in the lull before the next set comes out, so we gotta do what we gotta do. My, um, so let's go for the four. Let's go for the four piece. Um, I find it a real turnoff when people are like begging, begging, begging. Um, this is a zombie deck, uh, Roxas. It's exactly what we're playing. It is the snow zombo. Um, yeah. 7 1 draft. Good job, man. Welcome to Club 7 1. Um, welcome to Club 7 1. Uh, who else is in Club 7 1? See that? Zombo, Zombo, Zombo. Uh, yikes. That is no black, so we're going to have to go down to three. Um, and we'll have to keep that. Jorn. We'll have to go that, and Jorn will have to... No, actually, we want Zorn. Warlock is kind of the thing we need to get rid of there. So we can do Cursed Idol. Um... Okay, zombie ghast. All right. If he aggro's me, if he puts down immediately, no, he didn't aggro me. Okay, so we'll do that. Create a treasure token. Uh, whoop! No, we want dungeon. We want lost mine of Fandevler. Uh, yes, I will take that. Thank you. To God. <laughs> uh, zombie God. <laughs> there is a zombie God in the game, by the way. We will pay that black. Let's do that. Okay. Club Zero Zero here. Roxas, it is free, my guy. Uh, it is absolutely free. So don't leave money on the table, you know? Um, untap each snow permanent you control. Okay. Uh, don't leave don't leave money on the table, my guy. Um No blocks. Um, all of the drafts, the past three drafts, have been free. Um, so, if somebody told you otherwise, they're they're doing you wrong. So that's gonna be that. There you go. Now watch this. Untap the snow. Oh, okay, Roxas. Okay, I thought you didn't want to do it. Yeah, the last three drafts have been free. Absolutely, 100%. Um, unfettered, free drafts. Uh, 
So you gotta watch that. And we're gonna get rid of this cat right here so he can't activate. There you go. So now he can't run Chariot unless he puts down somebody. Um, he's gonna put an old growth troll down. Okay. And a werewolf back leader. Gotcha. Well, he's running out of gas here, so that's the good news. Uh, so am I, apparently. I would love a bat. A bat would be cool. It's probably going to be... We already have a wolf. So it's probably not going to be a wolf. It might be like a little zombie or something. Um... Oh, it's a baseball bat. Good one, Yisof. If it had a little baseball, it's a baseball bat. Yeah, I get it. <sighs> Sadly, I get it. I'm not happy about getting it, but I do get it. Let's see. A little Zombo would be funny, yeah. A little Zombo, like a little stitch together. The graph zombies that are kind of like Frankensteins. They're kind of like stitched together. Um, so. You know what? No blocks. It's not worth it. Um, oh no. Zombo Necro. Now you're out of bullets, man. You got everything in your hand. The burb council. A raven pet. Raven pet. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. Three snow creature that gives it one one if you spend snow mana to play a creature. Sorry for the long post. Don't worry about it, man. Uh, no. Um, eventually you gotta make cuts. Um, as heavy as I am on snow, I just didn't feel like that was a good fit. Um, <clears throat> so that's that's the problem with that one he does get to the thing here I'm going to block him he's probably going to charge him up though um, a crow or a raven that would make good sense yeah he's going to charge him up I had a feeling he was going to do that um, I'm going to draw mana right here oh my goodness it's a white doesn't really matter I'm dead anyways alright so they finally stopped the streak on four uh Finally stop the streak on four. No attacks. Yeah. Um, did not hit. These mono green, probably one of the best decks in the game right now. To be perfectly honest with you. Um. <clears throat> so, game four is a loss. Um, three up, one down. But that's okay. Uh, mono green is a beast right now, man. Mono green is an absolute beast. Um, that's that's okay though. Uh, yeah, Alfredo, I can't remember. I didn't think I, that that um, there is a zombie that you can actually pay to pump. Um, it's a little expensive and it's not great, but um, it's all right. I know, it's crazy. You get matched up and get a bad hand and get a loss after three wins. What a strange phenomenon. Um, what a strange, strange phenomenon. Phenomenon. All right. <clears throat> green. Again, green. Let's do this. Just do blue. He's probably wondering, what are you cuffing in your hand, bro? What are you cuffing, bro? You cuffing something, bro. 
I don't like you cuffing stuff, bro. Bro, don't be cuffing stuff. Bro. Bro. And that is no creatures. We have no creatures to play. Um, yeah, how about that? A loss after three wins. Um, funny how that is. Generally where it tries to even you out. It doesn't usually want you to go more than three in a row. Generally speaking. Um, and we're going to get rid of a moldering croc. So, yeah. It's trying to slow me down right now. It's trying its damn best, but apparently this guy doesn't know what he's doing, so... Alright, so we got that. Uh, probably gonna get counterspelled, but hey, what the hell. See? Told you. See that big delay right there? There you go. Soul shattered. Gotcha. Eureka moment, okay. Faceless Haven. Unfortunately, I can't run Faceless Haven. I don't have the mana base for it. Let's get rid of one of those. <coughs> Alright. Pretty much damn near only... Uh, creatures left in my deck and I will draw from here on out I, I give you my word that I will draw um, nothing but mana from here on out oh my goodness it's actually a, a thing oh my god Becky there you go alright We're going to hold on. Well, oh, and turn. There it is. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Uh, create a treasure token. And then, of course, and then we're going to pass. Yeah, there's the skeleton. Yeah. Everyone is a dwarf and a skeleton. Uh, auto pay. Stonks. Uh, no blocks. <clears throat> He's going to create more skeletons. Um, skellies. So what we're going to do is we're going to fight skeletons. Isn't that a thing? Stop skeletons from fighting. Isn't that a, a, a band or something? Uh, no attacks. And turn auto pay to Zombo. There he goes. I already played my uh, removal on binding, so I only have one of those left. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a band. Stop skeletons from fighting. I'm almost positive that that's a band. Yeah, if you can't get rid of this, man. I, I had nothing. I mean, I had... Oh, destroy target enchantment. Um, let's do that. And now I have nothing else to do. So let's do this. Uh, a little bit too late. I have a lot of enchantment removal, but uh, not enough for that one. And there's a second one. Yikes. Um, yeah, it's got to slow me down now some way, guys. Has to. Has to. Uh, it can't not. Um, uh, 
let's make a quick adjustment here. I think there's one thing I don't want in here. Um, the, 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 the snow remorse. Here we go. Um, King Narfi's Betrayer. I don't think I want that. I may want more. Um, I'm going to go with one of these. And I may want another Cursed Idol or Devouring Tendrils. Um, Ghastly Gloomer. I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit removal hard. Um, yeah, I haven't done the. I haven't really played with Maskwood this season. I'll, I'll have to in a little bit. I'll have to hit the Maskwood button. Um, yeah, stop skeletons from fighting. That's a that's a name of a band. Stop skeletons from fighting. No, it's not the name of a band. It's a channel. It's a YouTube channel. It's a video game. It's a video game channel on YouTube. I knew it was a thing. You all said I was stupid. You said Jay, you're a stupid idiot, and that's not a real thing. I said I know I've I've heard that before. Um. Yeah, it's a YouTube channel. Stop skeletons from fighting. He goes over like old tech and all kind of weird stuff. Um. Hey, I'm Derek. It's me, Derek. Welcome to Stop Skeletons from Fighting. Uh, in 2020, oops, accidentally played some of that. The dead can dance if you stop skeletons from fighting. Magda, there she is. Um, so let's bring out the green. Uh, let's tendril her. Yes. Yes, tendrils. Broken wings take these broken wings. Did I was kidding, my guy. Um, all right, Narfi. I milled the Narfi. Excellent uh, opponent graveyard. I kind of want a Magda. I kind of want a Magda for myself. Lead Bredder. What is up, Lead Bredder? How you doing, man? Um, so let's put down. Let's put down Evil Magda. There you go. And turn. Boof. My stream is a little late for me. Well, it just so happened I streamed early today. Um, I streamed very early today. I streamed at about. Uh, yeah, there's the Maskwood Magda. Here it is, guys. He did it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Maskwood Magda. None other. My turn. Okay. Um, to the end of turn, I can cast that. Oof. So let's do... Um, let's do King Narfi. And let's do that. Create a treasure. Uh, you're on the East Coast? Okay. Um, excellent. Well, uh, I did... So Thursdays, generally, I try to do an early streamer, and I'm going to try to do an early stream Saturday afternoon. Um, that's going to try to be the... Uh, that's going to be to try to be the new sketch, Mr. Ledbetter. So I'm hoping that is better for you. Um, all my skeletons are dragons. Wow, that's actually a really cool. It's uh, actually a really cool name, bro. Um, I like that. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a track. Let's go. All my skeletons are dragons. It's a really cool track name right there. Very metal. No, you don't want it. You don't want to go in. Okay. Um, let's 
do this. Yeah, he's out of there. All my skeletons are dragons. Oh, I'm going to do a dragon skeleton deck just because you said that. And I'm going to call it All My Skeletons Are Dragons. Oh my goodness. It's going to be a Rakdos. No, it's going to be a Jund. It's going to be a Jund Skeleton Dragon deck. And it's going to be called All of My... Um, uh, <laughs> set, set an alarm for 11.30 and nap around 8. Awesome. Um, Maskwood Nexus. All my skeletons are dragons. Hey, look, a, sh a shapeshifter, too. That, that seals the deal, man. If that isn't the sign right there that it needs to be done. Yeah, we can use... Exactly. We can use Ebon Death. He's going to be the commander. Uh, skeleton Swarming, Ebon Death. Yep. That, you get it. He gets it. Yusuf gets it. All my skeletons... All our dragons are belong to us. Excellent. We get signal. Main screen turn on. Oh, yeah. All my skeletons are dragons. Stig, man, you're, you're, you're launching a revolution here. Oh, well, I'm really glad you came, Ledbetter. Um, Ledbretter. Ledbretter, sorry, not Ledbetter. Um, Rimastino. What is up, Rimastino? Uh, who else is here? Dark Show and Dark Sky. Chaim Revivo. Who else is here? If you're, if you're just dropping in, say hello. Don't be afraid. Uh, don't be afraid of the dark. Um, join us. There, you see, there's where I'm sorry. Homebrew Deck Tech. That's what I want to see. I want to see some new people in the chat. Thank you for following Homebrew Deck Tech. Um, I like my Deck Tech homebrewed. You know, you go out and you get the artisanal stuff, and, uh, it's just not as good. You, you, you gotta make it at home. Let's scry for a creature. Um, how I always say it, I say I'm a villain, not a monster. Um, there's a difference. <clears throat> Alright, so let's do that. Let's put out Jorn. He's probably going to get killed right away. Or counterspelled. Well, yeah, he's just going to return him to my hand. That's just a stalling tactic, so I guess that's fine. Um, okay, didn't really do anything there, just stalled again. Um, okay, I'll put down that. Well, Jorn, Jorn, Jorn. Jorn, Jorn, Jorn. Let's wait. Let's see what you got, man. Let's wait. And we're going to do this. Sack that. You have a counterspell for that? No, he does not. Okay. My turn. I'm going to put down Dark Boar. We are going to try to put down Narfi. I want him in the graveyard, so if he gets counterspelled or killed, that's that's fine. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. I knew there was one. Okay, so now he's cheaper in the graveyard. Um, put those creatures on the board, man. I swear I won't bite. I swear I won't bite that hard. It won't be bad. It'll hurt at first. But then you'll embrace it. They always embrace it in the end. Yeah, oh, no. Battle of Frost and Flyer with Maskwood out. Yeah, bad, bad. Uh, feels bad. Feels bad, man. That is the that is the feels bad man right there. Um, and turn. Power word kill. Okay, so if you're going to kill him, I'll get some cash for him. How about that? Cash for clunkers right there. He's going to negate that. So he's going to spend his whole whole just going to shoot his whole wad to get rid of a one card. Okay, sure. Yeah, no problems there. Is this the is this the elusive manland main? Is that what I'm looking at here? Just the old-fashioned manland main. Let's see. He's got more counter spells here. 
He might have all counters. Um, he saw it coming. But did you see Jorn, God of Winter, coming? Yep, he did. He's gonna keep killing him. I think this is the Manland main here. But he has he has spent so much ammo here. Uh he has spent a lot of ammo. Unfortunately my deck relies on them having creatures. Um, to actually do something. Yeah, find the villain's lair. Okay. So he's got that one out. He's gonna faceless haven me again. Yeah, this is the man land. This is the absolute coward's deck, man. If you are just freaking... Could not be more terrified of losing the game. You run this. Um, if you could not be more scared of losing the game in your whole life, play this deck. Um, if you are just the absolute scariest person on the face of the earth, play this deck. It's all it is is counter spells and removal, and the manlands do it. If you are just freaking terrified of the very thought of losing a game, it just horrifies you. I bet, I seriously bet that's literally the whole, the whole thing. Um, it's literally, there's nothing in it but man lands. Yeah, there's, there's Bugbear, a uh, Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Um, there's going to be nothing in it but, uh, unfortunately, Narfi is repeating forever. Um, Narfi doesn't matter. Narfi returns from the graveyard Oh damn! It's a freaking, uh, it's a freaking men. It's a, it's a menace. Shoot! Yeah, I got no way to kill that, and I'm drawing nothing but mana from here on out too. Um. Oh my god, this dude could not be scarier. He could not be more frightened of actually playing a game of Magic. I have never seen a person who was more terrified of playing a game of Magic than this person here, Fuji. I'm sorry, bro. I gotta call him. I gotta call him like I see him here, my guy. Um, counterspell. There you go. I gotta call him like I see him, my guy. Absolute freaking terror at playing a uh, at playing a game of Magic. This guy had um, the Man Land Trap. Look at that, man. Look at that. That's sad, bro. That's sad, man. Mm -mm -mm. I normally stock a little bit of land removal. Well, that's going to be it, guys. That's going to be it for me tonight. Uh, we had some fun. We had some laughs. We had some good times. Um, word of the day, I think, is going to be... I don't know. Maybe cold flesh but that's two words uh something zombie-ish perhaps even putrid um so until next time guys i've been jay villain and you've been great bye bye